वेलकम बैक अगेन गाइस अगेन अबाउट बायोलॉजी एंड मैथ्स एंड इन दिस वीडियो प्रोबेबली द लास्ट काइंड ऑफ वीडियो विद द प्रोटीन बायोकेमिस्ट्री मैथमेटिक्स नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व अनदर क्वेश्चन इट्स नॉट प्योरली मैथमेटिकल बट इट इज एन एनालिटिकल टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन सो लेट्स गो विद इट अ होमोजेनस प्रोटीन ऑफ नेटिव मॉलिक्युलर वेट ऑफ 1 लाख गिव मॉलिक्युलर इट्स अ डालकिन ऑब्वियसली 1 लाख डालकिन गिव अ सिंगल बॉन्ड ऑफ मॉलिक्युलर वेट ऑफ 550000 ऑन एसडीएस पेज व्हाट इवर मॉलिक्युलर वेट दे आर प्रोवाइडिंग व्हाट इवर यूनिट यू कैन पुट so actually it is gave a molecular weight of 5000 50000 on sds page in presence of beta mercaptate ethanol n terminal analysis gave uh, two amino acid alanine and leucine in the equal proportions so what will be uh, our conclusion here are four different options for that typical cesar net group c question now in this case what they have told us is that a native protein molecular weight this is 1 lakh and a single bond that is obtained after treating that protein with beta mercaptate ethanol and that is 50000 so definitely if we have a protein with 1 lakh molecular weight we use beta mercaptate ethanol we receive two 50000 molecular weight uh, dalton molecular weight containing proteins so what does that mean you know beta mercaptate ethanol is an agent it's a reducing agent and beta mercaptate ethanol can reduce the disulfide bridge remember it reduces the disulfide bridge bridge to form normal sulfur and it breaks them apart right so usually beta mercaptate ethanol breaks the protein structure from the disulfide linkage and it will results in the production of more of side chains and eludes out the protein right so in this case if we know that the mother protein has a 1 lakh dalton as a molecular weight treating with bme will actually cut the disulfide bridge of that protein somewhere releases two separate chains suppose these are the two separate chains in previous time suppose these two chains are connected with disulfide bond or disulfide bridge and that bridge is broken by the treatment of beta mercaptate ethanol so we it gives rise to 50000 right so in this case what we get we get a one by so get we get a single band right single band actually not bonds the band of the molecular weight of 50000 now if we run it after this whole treatment is done we run it into the gel for the gel electrophoresis that is the space what we get we get one band only at so let's let's 50000 will be higher so let's put it here 50000 we get one band only so what does that suggest definitely beta molecular will break them apart now one important thing that i'm telling many people mistake that that if this 1 lakh molecular weight containing protein is cleaved into 50000 dalton molecular weight proteins we get one band or two because two different chains are there but the answer is we will get only one band why because the molecular weight is the same so instead all this protein structure will be deposited at that particular location in the gel so the band will be broader brighter but the bond will but the, there will be only one band but if you have obtain 160000 140000 will get two separate bands if you get 152000 one uh, you know 48000 we also get two separate bands but if you get both of them 50000 though those are two separate parts but as they are having same molecular weight they will end up in the same region in the gel electrophoretic page or in the gel right that's very very important they will be at a particular location there so once we know that they are there and they will be bright and broader because more of this uh, dna will be deposited more of this not dna proteins are deposited there that's why the band will be brighter so we get one band only right so what will be the conclusion first is the protein is a homodimer the answer for that is itself provided in the question is that the n terminal analysis gave us the idea of the two amino acid that are present that is alanine and leucine present in equal proportion on this n terminals so in n terminal there are alanine and leucine present so that means they are not the same amino acids that are present in two n terminal portion of the protein so definitely they are not a homodimer if it is a, it going to be a homodimer they should be containing same amino acids repeating in the n terminal but that's not the case so they are definitely not homodimers contaminated with another protein that's not the case that's not the answer because we get the mother mother protein and we simply treat it with bme that doesn't mean some other protein is get cleaved this protein is getting cleaved so that is not true third is a two polypeptides are linked by disulfide bridges 
of course they are linked with disulfide bridges so option c is going to be the correct answer there so option d none of them obviously that's not going to be true so the answer here that the two polypeptides are linked with each other by a disulfide bridge and here comes the disulfide bridge that is linking two polysaccharide chain uh, two polypeptide chains together and once we treat them with beta marker pentanol it breaks them from this region as a result previously it is 1 lakh now it becomes 50000 dalton each so that's how the whole system works guys for all this type of questions you need to read them very carefully once you read them very carefully it will become very very easy to answer these questions thank you